Mars is a strange planet with some pretty strange features, some matching those on Earth. But first, let's check out what I call the medallion. Now, my first guess was that this is an underwater asteroid crater that got filled in with silt. But that doesn't explain that rocky formation in there. It's, it should be even. So I don't know what it is or how it happened. Now, just for fun, let's check out the Loch Ness Monster. That's a pretty good likeness of the Loch Ness Monster or dinosaur or whatever. Now we'll see an unusual rock formation. And it's pretty symmetric, pretty distinct. It matches, it's similar in shape to an ancient burial mound in Japan. So now let's go to Earth. That's called a kofun, an ancient burial mound. And now I'll show you the two side by side. They're not similar in size or orientation, but they do look similar, and they have the same 40 degree angle in their shape. Next, let's revisit the ice tunnel on Mars. Now you all remember this. I still think this tunnel is an Audi. Well, now let's measure it. It's about 407 feet wide in the outer rim. And the measure of that blackness is about 250 feet. That's approximate. And now, let's visit a cave in Antarctica. Either this is a vertical cave or a volcanically heated lake. Antarctica is mostly unexplored. It's unlikely anyone in the world ever explored this. Now for the interesting little problem with its size. It's 410 feet wide, and that's not exact. And the width of that blackness is about 250 feet. It's an approximate match. Now let's just look at a smaller cave. We'll just look at that for a moment. It's not made of rock or ice or snow. It almost looks artificial or fleshy. What is this cave made of? And it's right here on Earth in, in Antarctica. Now we'll look at an object in the snow. about 30 feet long. There's another one here, about 15 feet long. I don't think they're petrified trees. And I wonder how expensive it can be to just send planes there to pick those up. Now let's check out the crashed UFO. at least 70 feet wide. It looks like a flying saucer crashed into, into the rock and half buried in the snow or driven into the rock. Now for the overview. These four sites form a nearly straight line. So what are the odds of that? My question is, is it possible that there's a connection between them? 
And that's all.